I think the mill represents a close-knit family. It's been family-run for years. But we felt that it's an icon of the community and we really wanted to preserve that and bring it back to his old glory days. We're a, a local community mill and because it's so small, we literally have an intimate relationship with our wheat and our farmers. And because we're trying to hold on to that, we felt like it was super critical that we keep this historical mill. When restoring the building, we want to stick to the nostalgia of the mill, and we wanted to keep it as close that we could to the original. Back in the day, it was surrounded by prairie land. Lehigh, when it opened, it was just a small farming community, and we wanted to stick true to the mill because it means a lot to our family and many others in the community. We're very tied to this building. We got a lot of concerned people locally. Are you gonna tear it down? The land's worth so much now. It's part of the passion we have for our wheat carries on to the building. The mill itself has not changed, but Lehigh has grown a ton. The mill is growing. We want to make sure that we can continue to grow along with the community that's growing around us. We invested in Lehigh Roller Mills without making major changes except for environmental changes. The dust collection, as we know it's important to the community. We don't want our dust, flower dust, blowing everywhere as we're processing our, our wheat. We get to control where that wheat comes from. It's, it's, we actually decline wheat all the time. We're very critical of the quality of our wheat. And that way we can bring the local fill into our product. Over a hundred years, our flower quality has stayed the same. There's still a human side to Lehigh Roller Mills. We wanted to make it feel like a tight-knit community that Lehigh is. We really want it to be around for a hundred years or more. KB decided to invest. It was time to bring it up to what it used to be and put the time and effort into it so they'll last for generations to come.